Walt Whitman on a laptop. Vasho Lindsay's Twitter on straight edge bath salts. Follow him on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. He is so close to 6,666 followers. Hail Satan and hail Steve Rogenbach. <laughs> I've never been in your great state until today. Yeah! I deem it the best state! Yeah! Congratulations! Heck yes, I was on the way here, and I looked up some facts about Iowa. Guess what my favorite two facts are? One, there's a place in this state where you have the largest strawberry in the world. Whoa! <laughs> Did you guys know? <laughs> Hands in the air if you have seen this strawberry. <laughs> yeah! How do they preserve it? And how can I steal it? I will come to your state for 12 hours and leave with the gigantic strawberry. It's paper mache? Yeah. <laughs> it's not real? It's so good to be proud of your paper mache strawberry. I love you, Iowa, for your paper mache strawberry. The other thing that sounded really great was um, there is supposedly in Indianola, which is a city, they have a balloon museum that covers over 200 years of ballooning history. <laughs> yes! Iowa! I grew up in Michigan, so I do rap the Midwest. <laughs> Truly. Um, now, this is actually funny. I have this Twitter handle on my computer, but that's not my Twitter handle. That's one of my friends, Beach Sloth. He's one of my favorite bloggers. Um, I'm going to start you guys off with these five short love poems. These are rare. Rare, hardly released. I'm Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park for you. <laughs> I point out human beings' exploitation of the natural world. That's my main function. Also, I'm arrogant and I like you. <laughs> I'm lost in a gigantic park. I want you to be lost with me. Unfortunately, I can't give you directions here because I'm lost. I'm rowing on your sexual Mississippi River. I'm like Huck Finn for you. I'm the sex version of Huck Finn. I'm like Mark Twain's sex toy. <laughs> when I kiss you, I'm 60 years old. It's chill. 60 is the new 50. <laughs> Last one of these rare love poems. I'm like a friendly vegan bear. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm hibernating. Don't disturb me, I'm a bear. Roar, I like you. <laughs> yeah! Yes! <laughs> Cutest bear love poem ever written. Hands in the air if you agree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, only a small portion of the audience. What is this rare, cute bear love poem that I don't know of? I'll tell you one thing. Tomorrow is Justin Bieber's birthday. Yeah. yeah. Justin Bieber's turning 19. Boo. <laughs> you want him to be a different age. <laughs> Guys, to celebrate Justin Bieber's birthday, I have to read these Justin Bieber <laughs> tweets that I have, but I also have to, I have to, have to play some Justin Bieber in the background while I do it, so it makes me feel really good. Guys, I ran this, that's actually distracting for me, <laughs> if there, I ran a Justin Bieber fan Twitter account because I truly love JB, and um, I just love this. Justin Bieber is one of my heroes. I have I've been traveling around. Actually, I did just get an apartment, but 
Most of the last year I traveled with just this bag. It was the only thing. I traveled the entire year. And so I didn't have much with me. But I did keep the Justin Bieber DVD on me at all times. It's brilliant. And I've seen it 13 times. The Justin Bieber movie, it's called Never Say Never 3D. Except it's not 3D on the DVD. But it's really great. Guys, did you see Jurassic Park is being re-released 3D? Yes. That too. Anyway... <laughs> Guys, I, so I, anyway, I had a Justin Bieber fan Twitter account for a while, and I actually worked it up. I became part of the Belieber community on Twitter. There's actually thousands of Twitter accounts that are devoted just to tweeting about Justin Bieber. <laughs> and I became part of this community. I had about 1,500 followers on my Justin Bieber Twitter account, and these are three of my best tweets on that account. <laughs> Would you murder someone to be Justin Bieber's baby? <laughs> <laughs> Would you cut someone and watch them bleed to death to be with Justin? <laughs> would you get your tubes tied if Justin said he would never be with you? Trick question, never say never. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Tweets are short. It's three long. Guys, you had the best, most, you had the most reaction of being like, oh, with that one. A lot of people just laughed, but you were stunned. <laughs> you were shocked because I, I, wisdom. Guys, these are three of my other best tweets on my normal account, which is just my name, at Steve Roganbuck. These tweets were created from the Wikipedia page for list of unusual deaths. I found some of these rare deaths, like un crazy deaths, and uh, 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 <laughs> I thought of something, but I'm not going down that pathway. No, two roads diverged in a in a wood. Guys, um, anyway, these are my tweets where I embodied those those deaths and wrote them out in first person so you could imagine them. Today I died after an airborne 200 kilogram American black bear smashed through my windshield and out the back window of my SUV. Today I was killed while heating up a lava lamp on my kitchen stove. <laughs> the lamp exploded and a shard pierced my heart. Today I was killed after being struck in the face by an airborne fire hydrant while walking. <laughs> Actual deaths. <laughs> six, 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 right? Very dark. <laughs> That's the kind of true art you can find on my Twitter page. Guys, I explore a lot of these internet formats. That's part of what has distinguished me in my work. I find that there's... As a poet, I'm not really too concerned about doing anything particular to the history of poetry, although I have liked some poets of the past. I don't care that my poems look or sound like poems necessarily. I just like working with language and ideas and imagery and all that stuff. And so I'm interested wherever language is. And so on the internet, language takes some forms that it hasn't taken in the past. And so I've been very interested in putting putting the poetry into those forms and exploring those forms. And so anyway, the tweets are one thing, but here's another. These chats. These chats. And I go on, you guys ever hear of Chat Roulette? Yes. Chat Roulette is known for you go on there and it's a live video of a guy jacking his dick and asking you, are you a girl? But if you go on the text version of those sites without the video dicks, you do. You can have these poetic interactions with people. And this was one of my best interactions that I had with somebody, and I actually ended up putting it in my book. It was a collab with this stranger. Stranger said, hey. I said, party inside of a dead horse. Your conversational partner has disconnected. <laughs> So that's what I, but that's a lot of fun. I recommend doing that, but be careful on that site because everybody in on there is jacking their decks. I'm serious. <laughs> Guys, this was from my debut chat book that I put out in 2010. Very rare. 
This is based off a, a, a birthday card design that I had in mind. To my nephew on his birthday, I will choke your dad. I don't care. I'm not afraid. <laughs> then you can fill out whatever you want after that. Like, it was nice seeing you grow and change over the year. You're turning into a fine young man. <laughs> Guys, one time when I was, I think I was, I was, when I was turning 21, my dad gave me a birthday card where he said, I'm proud of you. <laughs> and I, it was one of the happiest moments for me. That wasn't a joke, even. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to get into this long love poem in just a second, but I wanted to show you these postcards because they're in the back. They're kind of far back there, and Russell mentioned them about donating to get one, but um, these are part... These are part these were based off of my ebook that I did called DownloadHelveticaForFree.com, which gets me a lot of search traffic. A lot of people trying to download that font because it doesn't come on PCs. And I actually remember the day when I passed Linotype, the legit owners of Helvetica, in the search results. I was higher up in the search results than the actual owners of Helvetica. Thank you! Yeah. Yeah. I truly get about 300 some visitors every day on that site just because they're trying to download that font. Now, these, so they're, but they're, it's actually, there's more to the site than that. That's, that's a pretty good gimmick, right? That's a pretty good, it's a pretty good concept, but also the, the poems are just these short bits blown up in this big Helvetica font. And the, and the text is taken from these MSN chats that I had. MSN Messenger, truly, 2006. And there were these chats that I had with my girlfriend at the time. And so anyway, I'm just going to read you these six that were made into postcards and that are available back there. I think of you every time I see my computer background. So these were written without the intention of being poetry, but I really like them in that context. I can picture us together in a house. I'm nocturnal like raccoons. You and I made apple pie in my dream. Guess what song Amanda is sending me? Riding Dirty by Chameleon Air. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the last one, possibly the best. Although it's funny, I noticed it was the last. It was the. It was. It has the largest stack of remaining postcards. Nobody wants to send this postcard because why would you? It's. <laughs> Final Destination 3 is out on DVD. Yeah. <laughs> and there is another, there's another poem from that that I didn't get made into a postcard, but it said, guess what? There's going to be a Saw 3. <laughs> Which by now there's like seven saws. And it doesn't seem like a big deal that there was a third or even fourth or fifth or sixth or seven. Truly though, those Saw movies, I saw the last one, I saw the last one, I saw, saw Final Chapter on Halloween weekend, the ones, and the more, the moralizing factor of in Saw was getting to this ridiculous extreme. Like, you know, it, it always had like a bit of a factor, like the people were getting, who's seen Saw, the Saw movies of any kind? I just, okay, so you guys kind of know. Anyway, I feel like this story was kind of going to a dead end. I'm going to read you guys this love poem. Truly hit me up after if you want to hear about Saw. The Saw, the final chapter. It doesn't even have Jigsaw in it. That's the main thing, which is the creepy old guy. He was the best part of that series. The news said that a family got lost in a corn maze and was still in there at night and they called 911 to get out of the maze. The news said that most people finished the maze in 25 minutes, but this family was in there for four hours. 
and I will kiss you sitting on the pier of the shallow river, and I will kiss you in your car's back seat on the gravel turnaround in the rain, and I will even kiss you another time, pushed against the dead tree in the back of a graveyard. I'm sorry I like you better than everything. I want to whisper into your smile, come watch cops with me. <laughs> you make me need to write love poems. This is what I might whisper in the rain, come over and nap with me, I want you. I sleep like a raccoon in you. I sleep in you like I am a raccoon somewhere. Do you ever want to climb into a birch tree with me? Somewhere in the bottom of the rain, I want you. I turn you with slow animals. I turn you in the dark trees. I have you with me in the dark trees. I'm trying to put you somewhere else in the dark trees too. I am like the giraffe of you. Wow, I am kissing 25 birds when I kiss you. Four hours of rain in the corn. I'm scrolling down. <laughs> I kiss you and I dream that I am a raccoon. You trip and you fall and instead of getting up you stay down and I kiss you on the ground in a cornfield at night. I am with you pressing flowers in the open mouth. I am with you pushing rain to the frosted window. It is even hard to cry now. In December, Michigan, there will be a snowbank somewhere of you and me and your warm legs, and I am in between kissing you. Sweet dreams, you are very beautiful. I will sing to you just in with my lips on you and my hands on you. So thank you, I am far into the warm tunnels of you. I will bring to you my warm dark. We are under a pine tree and it is midnight. So thank you, I am deep into the rain of you. <laughs> okay. Now comes the very completely satanic part of the show. It was only partially satanic before. 